We're standing in front of a 140-year-old landmark brownstone in Manhattan, a full gut renovation. We built an addition on the roof, a new roof deck, fully redid all the interiors. I'm George Fontan, and I'm an architect in New York, owner of Fontan Architecture. Let's take a look. Come inside. Here we're on the parlor floor of the house. We have a wide open space with 11 foot two ceilings. The parlor floor in brownstones is normally has the highest ceiling and it's kind of the nicest space. It's the space you're gonna make open. All right, so this house is landmarked, but we replaced all the windows. The old windows were a disaster and we put in new windows. You can see here some original wood shutters. These haven't been finished with all the painting. We're 99% we're here. So uh, all the window replacements has to go through landmarks. There's a big process for that. We kept the old fireplace. It's got cracks. We're just leaving it original. The contractor sanded it down just a little bit. That's the original mirror and it's a nice old detail. This is a 140 year old brownstone. Let it look like a 140 year old brownstone. The floors are in a herringbone pattern, which gives it a nice little touch that kind of elevates the parlor floor. Now I wanna show you my favorite thing in the whole house. This staircase has this lion's head on the banister. I love this. As soon as we walked in and I saw this, I said, we're keeping that. So this whole stair has been uh, sanded down, refinished, and we're keeping all this. This is an important part of renovating a brownstone. You wanna come in and assess, what are we keeping? What are we getting rid of? What is worth keeping? What's the condition? These are kind of the first steps. So this brownstone is 5,000 square feet. And one thing I wanna say about that is, if you've got a 5,000 square foot brownstone, you should have a big kitchen. We turned this entire room back here into the kitchen. There used to be a wall that we knocked out and you have uh, cabinets on both sides with a large island here in the middle. When you've got a big kitchen like this, there's plenty of room for storage, wine refrigerator. We've got countertops on both sides, plus a big island in the middle. There's a double sink over here, a double sink in the islands. You've got your refrigerator, panel ready wood to match. On this side of the kitchen, we've got the appliances. This is a 48 inch wolf cooktop with a 48 inch hood above. You've got a pot filler so that you can fill up your pots with water right on top of the stove. Uh, one nice feature that I like to do is putting slabs for a backsplash. These are two big pieces for the whole backsplash. There's just one seam in the middle that you barely see. You've got warming drawer on the bottom. You've got an oven, a steam oven all here in the wall. This is a great little feature. And then at the end of the kitchen, a little banquette with more storage below. This brownstone is 70 feet deep. That makes light really important. So we opened up in a few places, new windows cutting through the brick walls so we could have a lot of light coming into the house. Here we have some original doors that we reused, refinished, put new hardware on. Inside is a little powder room with original wainscoting that we reused and a marble sink gives it an old feel in a newly renovated house. We're here on the parlor floor level of the brownstone. These doors are brand new. Back here is the kitchen and the living room. We replaced the windows, but we opened up the brick wall. You can see we put in a new steel header across the top. This all, of course, has to be approved by Landmarks because it's in the back of the building. They're far less interested in, in this area. So you have a new big glass doors, double doors with side lights and a new deck going down to the backyard. Over here, we have uh, an old safe that we found. This thing is uh, uh, probably 100 years old or so. Uh, might be as old as the house. Uh, the owners found it and are gonna keep it. We're trying to figure out a place to put it. Here we have another original detail. You have these old solid wood doors. These were refinished. 
uh, fixed up, painted. We still have the original hardware and we made a little TV room here with these two double doors. One of the most important rooms in the house is gonna be the master bathroom. We walk through the closet. You have his and hers closets on either side. You come to the master bathroom with the toilet compartment in the back, double sink on one side with a towel warmer, a freestanding tub. I really like a freestanding tub in a brownstone master bathroom. It seems like it fits. You have a pretty decent sized bathroom with some open space, put in a freestanding tub. We got this wood paneling in the back with a niche for the bathtub. Then over here is the shower. It's an open shower, okay? There's no curb, just a piece of glass, and the floor is seamless into the shower with a little pitch to a linear drain in the floor and an adjustable uh, handheld shower and a rain shower above. So one thing about these old brownstones is they were originally built as single family homes. On a lot of the townhouses in New York, after the Great Depression, people converted them into single room occupancies, also known as SROs. These were where they had one bathroom on each floor and then they would rent out little rooming units on the floors. And in a whole brownstone, you could have 12, 15 different rooming units. So this is the case here. We had to convert it from an SRO back to a, to a two family house because we have a rental apartment on the lower level. And then of course, get a new certificate of occupancy. When you file in New York to get a new certificate of occupancy, this is a whole process. They, they review the whole house. There's a lot of upgrades that have to be done. There's a lot of inspections and architectural review, but we got through all that. And here we have our finished house that uh, we're gonna be occupying pretty soon. Here we are on the roof. This whole area is new. We built an addition on top. This was the original roof level of the house. Uh, then we built the addition. You have stairs that go up to the top of the addition. On the top of the roof for the penthouse, you have views in every direction. This is uh, another great outdoor space. They have three roof decks, one on the north side of the house, one on top of the penthouse and one from below that we just saw. We built these new steel cable rails. Everything is open and you can come up here and enjoy the sun. 